It's Panini Day. And if you didn't know, Panini means holy sh**. Somebody put a bunch of great stuff in bread and grilled it, and it's fucking awesome. And that's the plan. Think of a panini as like the most delicious, jacked up, in a good way, Italian grilled cheese. Doesn't have to be cheese. Does not have to be cheese. Could be almost anything you want. We're doing a turkey panini today with pesto and red peppers and cheese and tomatoes. And it's going to be great. It's simple. It's simple. We start with the building, but we start with the bread first. And here's what I'm using. I'm using ciabatta. This. Look, you could use anything you wanted. But I think ciabatta says panini to me. But look, if you're at home and you've got a couple of slices of whole wheat bread and you want to make a panini out of it, forge ahead, Sparky. It's all you. I have a channel and I need to make something a little more upscale so we're going with this panini which by the way is about four bucks so oh look there's the price 3.99 so not really all that upscale just cooler to use we cut we build here we are so i'm just gonna take a little bit off of here just to help square this thing up a bit then i want my panini to be this big so i'll cut here which leaves me uh, now a whole nother half to make a separate one. Now we just cut this guy in half this way, this way. Perfect. Now we have a decision to make, Max. First, I, I completely dig these pockets of air in here and stuff, the lightness of the whole thing. But the question is, do we make our panini traditional style like this with all the stuff on the inside and this is the outside and this is the outside or do we go inside out panini and go like that? I just answer my own question. We're going traditional. I we're, think the bread will look better on the outside. We're going to go like this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have these conversations a lot of the time that you don't hear because we're thinking about how it will build, how something will cook, but also how it will look in the end. That's important because we want it to look great for you because we want your food to look great. Look, I know it's about the taste. You make a lasagna, you take a bite, it's delicious. You go, F that was amazing. But if it looks like dog shit when you bring it out to your guests, that's, that's no bueno in our eyes. So we're trying to think about how this is going to look good for you, your family, your guests, that kind of thing. Cool? Cool? Cool. Let's build. Oh boy. What was that? Oh, that's our front door. Oh, huh. Maybe we could turn that down a bit. Yeah. His phone just went off and, I don't know, and made some big ass noise. I would have got shit for it, but Max, no, no. Because he's the technical director, he can do anything he wants, apparently. We're gonna start with some amazing jarred pesto. Look, make your own or buy your own. This will be a nice, beautiful layer on the bottom. Spread perfectly, wall to wall end to end and side to side. Next, provolone. We're gonna do the provolone on both sides. So this is the first spot it's going on. And this is a smoked provolone and it is really delicious. And it's so, it's not, come on you piece of, here we go. We want good coverage here. Like that and maybe another little half right here. Next, jarred roasted red peppers. Fire roasted, best things ever. We take them out, we drain them a bit, then we put them on here. Look, you can roast your own, or sometimes it's easy just to buy them already done. And these guys come like this. But I don't want all the wetness, so I'll just put them on the paper towel, let them drain a bit, and then we'll put them in the sandwich. Sorry, the panini. Then we'll put them in the panini. But you need enough to cover the whole thing. A Little bit on top on the sandwich. And down they go. So sweet. I don't mean sweet in the sugary term. I mean sweet as in the sweet. This is gonna be fucking amazing. We'll fill up that hole. We'll go like this. Now we're talking. Now, turkey time. So here's what I have. I have pepper turkey from the supermarket that I'm just gonna 
mound up all the way across. Don't feel obligated to cook your own turkey. Yes, Thanksgiving's coming up, but, but this is, look, sometimes delicious doesn't have to mean it takes forever to make. So let's just give ourselves a nice base of this turkey all the way across. Yum. This might be boring for you, but for me, this makes me happy with what's coming here. Beautiful, Max? Hell yeah. Speaking of turkey, I have a question. In fact, can we make this a poll question? Done. Thanksgiving's coming up, at least in this country. Canada's already had theirs. We can't help you with this. But in this country, or for anybody that's watching, we want to show you the turkey you want to know how to make this Thanksgiving. So, we'll give you a choice of three. You tell us which one you want, and that's the one that we will make for you. Would you like to see a smoked turkey? That's one. Two, would you like to see a deep fried turkey? Or three, would you like to see a traditional oven roasted turkey? I will not give my opinion until you guys choose. But once again, we're here for you. We're really just servants of anything you guys want. Is that, is that close? Yeah. We're not servants? <laughs> so what do you want? Smoked turkey, deep fried turkey, or oven roasted turkey? You decide. Uh, but we're not stopping with our layering here. We have more, so come back down. Next, we put a layer of spinach. <laughs> Look at that. So you think that's ridiculous. Don't forget, uh, panini, which by the way doesn't mean, oh, somebody put a lot of great shit into a sandwich and grilled and it's fucking amazing. I think it means grilled something, whatever. Maybe, Jelly, could you look it up while you were uh, sitting here? Yes. We'll have a meaning for you, a proper translation in a second. But, but so now the spinach is here. We're going to give it uh, some tomatoes. So make a little space. We take our tomato and we cut. By the way, can I take a second to show something? You just saw how beautifully that tomato cut, right? right. It's because my knife is sharp. It's because I just bought one of these things. It's a pull through. Oh, sorry. It's considered a pull through sharpener. And these ones, which I don't even think I have here. These ones, like the Gordon Ramsay things you see them, you know, tooling about with on TV. Those things are fine if you know how to use them, but you have to get the, the knife at the right angle when you draw it across this way, this way. They're complicated. I sharpened all my knives yesterday with this guy that we'll put a link to. But it brings up a bigger idea that we're going to put together a gift-giving list of kitchen things. Stuff to make your food life better, which pretty much is just our goal. So, if you don't know what you're going to give people that like food, as you get towards the holidays, look to us to put this thing together. And we should have it up in the next... No, everybody went like this. <laughs> but it will be there. And it will make it simple for you. Okay? Because you want to give people stuff. Look, fucking fuck. Sorry. Look, forget the stupid shit. The, the ties. The socks. The... The aprons, kiss the cook. Now somebody will be mad because they gave a kiss the cook apron. And, but give useful things. Useful things. This is useful. A good knife is useful. Uh, 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 wait. A garlic press is useful. An instant read thermometer is useful. These things are all great. And they're not expensive. There will be some expensive things on there. Uh, a sous vide machine, that kind of stuff. But, but just know that we will give you a list that you can go, Uncle Larry, Aunt Norma, Mom, Dad, Sister Susie, my girlfriend would like that. And by the way, don't give a girlfriend or a boyfriend cooking stuff, I don't think. I think it needs to be a little more from the heart, which this could be. But let's continue. Back to the tomato. Look at that beautifully sharpened knife cutting the tomato like it should be. I couldn't do this yesterday. I can do it now because they're sharp. These guys go on top. Uh-oh.
And now on the top of that, this gets a little kosher salt and pepper because it'll stick easily to this. And then just a couple more things. We do our last layer of cheese on here. One more. Then we take our lid and the lid gets two things and it goes on. We give it a little of our favorite Italian mayonnaise. Of course, it's not Italian, it's Japanese. And a little of our favorite Italian hot pepper spread. Chopped vegetables, super spicy, just a little bit though. We'll mix it with the mayo. Not for a ton of heat. It's very spicy, so we just give it a little. And this goes on. Oh boy. Check this guy from the side. You ready, Max? Yeah. How's that look? Does that look good? Does that say panini to you? That says somebody put a whole lot of shit in bread and then grilled it. It's beautiful. To help with the uh, browning in the pan, we're going to give this a light, 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 light brushing with a little avocado oil. Thank you, Chosen Foods. Official oil of Sam the Cooking Guy. And when it's done, we try and pick this giant up and over we go. We have a heated, ridged grill pan. That's going to give us the look that we want. So we go face down like this and we squish but because we don't want to stand here all day we'll take this pot beside us we'll even it on top and let it do its thing here's what we're looking for we're looking for beautiful grill marks and then we're going to turn it and get the cross hatch we can pull this off, but we want gentle heat. If it's too hot, uh, it'll just burn and you don't want that. So when you think you've got some good color, how's this going to work? How am I going to do this next? You give it a 45 in the pot. Come on, you goes back down. Okay. When the bottom's ready, which technically is the top. We take our oil, we do our thing right here once more. And now, Max, we try and flip it. I don't know how this is gonna work. One, uh oh, two. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the melty cheese, the crispy top. That's exactly everything I wanted. And we'll let the bottom finish without the pot on top so we can look at it and just admire. And when she's gorgeous and ready, we eat. And here we go. Ah, ow, oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Look it. The melty cheeses, the tomatoes, the peppers, the spinach. What do I call spinach? The little Vanna White turn. She's a beaut, huh? But should we cut her? That's the question. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, I can't find my serrated knife. How's that look? That's gotta look pretty, right? And so let's have a bite. Let's go this guy, this guy, this guy. I mean, look at the layers. You've got the ciabatta, you've got the pesto, you've got the provolone, you've got the roasted red peppers, you've got this, this peppered turkey layered up, you've got the spinach, then you've got tomato, the salt and pepper, more provolone, mayo, the, the, the hot pepper bits, and then the top piece. I don't even know how you, it's already leaking. I think that's a good damn sign.
Here we go, right here. It's freaking glorious. It's a concert. And by concert, I mean, in the concert band are 45 different instruments. By the time you add up all the percussion and the cymbals and the triangles, and there's so much going on in my mouth, I, I can't even get going in a description. Oh my God. And a little bit of heat from the standby. I don't know where you live, but I will shout out these guys. Not paid by the way. This shit is so good. We put this in the garlic bread that Max didn't like the other day. Sorry, you didn't like the picture of. We put this in the hot Italian uh, sub thing that we made. A little bit of this, so good. Or some version of this is a must for your pantry, your refrigerator, your condiment door. There's a genius thought. We do a condiment episode. The 10, 15 things that will change your food life by keeping them on hand. And by the way, for people that are looking going, hey bro, a panini is made, just wait for Max to scratch his foot so the shot's not all really up. You okay? I'm all right. I need it. Can I shoot an episode? Here's an idea. This is too much coming to me all at once. Can I shoot an episode with a camera on my forehead, like a GoPro thing? Yes. Or like our little, uh, our little Osmo. Yes. So people can see from time to time what I see. Yes. It's fucking great. Uh, there will be people that go, hey bro, uh, a panini is made with a panini press. Okay, so go buy one. Or, Buy a ridged grill pan, use it for 40 other things and paninis. You make the decision, it's up to you. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Hey, we're letting this merchandise sale that we had 20% off go through Monday. So 20% uh, off, use the uh, code last chance and buy anything. And make this fucking thing because it's ridiculous. And then have a good weekend or something. See ya. Hey, Monday. Really good steak you're gonna like.